Video number 99, Evaluating Exponential Expressions. Have you ever wondered why these two, have you ever wondered why this, you ready? Have you ever wondered why negative two squared is negative four in the calculator when we all know it's supposed to be positive four? It's because this is what the calculator is doing, not this. You need to type in the parentheses in order to get the positive because this here is a negative if you expand it out, times two times two. Okay, this is two negative twos, and we're gonna see why that's the case right here. Okay, if you have two times three squared, you see the square is only responsible, bam, for the three. So this becomes two times nine, which is of course 18. Here, the square is responsible for both. There's two ways to do this problem. You multiply 2 times 3 and get 6. 6 squared is 36. Clearly not the same. All right. Of course, you could do 4 times 9 and also get 36. That leads us to this. If you have a negative 4 to the 4th power, this means 4 negative 4s. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4. There's a total of 4 negatives. Therefore, the answer is going to be positive 2, 50, Six. Okay, here, or again, the four, this four is only responsible for that four. It's not responsible for the negatives. This becomes negative times four times four times four times four, which is negative 256. Alrighty then. So when you have an even, you have to make sure you're in good shape. That'll be a positive. This will be a negative. Ironically enough, both of these are what? Negative eight. And it's for different reasons. This has, um, just so happens to have uh, three negatives and three twos, so that's why it's negative eight. This has one negative with three twos being multiplied together. Either way, negative eight. Alrighty then, so good times, and we will talk to you later.